Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're talking some hitting mechanics and I want to talk about KISS. Keep it simple, stupid, okay? I hear this a decent amount on our videos. Obviously, we have tons of hitting videos on our YouTube channel. And although we have t so many people that say, hey, thank you so much for helping. This really makes sense. It's made a huge difference in my career. I do get some people from time to time that say, hey, stop trying to over overcomplicate things, right? Just keep it simple, stupid. Just see the ball and hit the ball, okay? And I want to talk about that today because I, I think it's really important because I, I, I hear that advice a lot. Right? I've been around enough baseball to, you know, when players are struggling, most, not most coaches, but a lot of coaches say, hey, stop thinking, you know, keep it simple, keep it simple, you know, see the ball and hit the ball. The issue with that is, in my opinion, is when a player really has a flaw in their swing and they're really struggling, just to tell them to keep it simple, stupid, <laughs> is not going to help most players if they're really, really struggling, right? If they're not hitting, then that's not going to work. Again, if it's a mechanical flaw, okay? So we need to give them something to, to do, to work on, right? Players don't just struggle for long periods of time, right, out of bad luck. Baseball is a game of ups and downs, obviously, and so if a player is going through a little bit of a funk, I'm not saying that it's always mechanics. Right? We tell our guys, really, there's three things, okay? The first thing is pitch selection. Are you swinging at good pitches? If you're not swinging at good pitches, well, then you're going to struggle. It's really hard to hit if you don't swing at good pitches, right? The second thing is timing. Am I on time to hit? Am I Am I ready to hit? And if I'm not on time, again, it's going to be really difficult to hit. So I've got to be able to get on time. I have to understand when to get my foot off the ground so that I can get my foot down in the right amount of time to be able to be in a good position to hit. Okay? But if those two things, right, I'm on time, I'm swinging at good pitches, and I'm still not hitting for a long period of time, then it's probably something mechanical. And again, just telling the player to keep it simple, stupid is not going to help them, okay? So we need to give them something more than that to help, right? Unless you just wanna say, hey, go play soccer. Right? That's, I guess that's another option. Okay, so it's really, really important for hitters. You've gotta be your own best hitting coach. You have to really understand your swing and you've gotta do a, a good job of, of getting information and understanding how the swing works. Now, I'm not saying you've gotta be a major league hitting coach if you're a 12 year old player or you're a 14 year old player, but I do think that you have to start to get an understanding of the swing. And if you're an older player, then you should really have an idea of, okay, what, what am I doing when I'm really successful? And what are some of the key things, right? We call them core principles, but what are some of the key things to the swing that'll really help me me, put, again, put me in a good position to hit and help give me a really good path so I'm slightly up through the ball and I'm in the hitting zone for a long time, right? And also give me bat speed and bat quickness. So I think just big picture wise, it's really important as hitters to have an understanding of the, the swing and their swing. And for coaches, it's the same thing. And I just feel like sometimes, you know, keep it simple, stupid is just a cop out. It's just like, you know, I, I, got, I got no clue, man. Just keep it simple, stupid. Stop overthinking everything. Well, I've been there plenty of times in my career where keeping it simple, stupid didn't help. Like I just continued to not be able to hit because there was an actual flaw in my swing. And the more simple I tried to keep it, yeah, I kept it really simple. I got, I got no hits and hit the ball hard. <laughs> and it wasn't really until somebody came to me and explained the swing and explained what I was doing. Because again, I didn't know at that time. I had no idea. I never really looked at swings. I'd always been a really good hitter. And so when I didn't hit, I didn't know what to do. I I'd never had to worry about it. I always hit my whole life pretty much, okay? And you know, a lot of people came out to me and said, hey man, stop overthinking things. Just keep it simple. Didn't help. Didn't help me for a long time. Again, it wasn't until someone really started to break down the swing and my swing and help me understand what I did when I was successful and what I have to do to get back there, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there today because I see that, I see that a lot um, with people that just say, stop overcomplicating it, hitting's hard enough. Absolutely, hitting's hard enough. And hitting is really, really hard when you don't know what you're doing and you have an actual flaw going on and you don't know how to fix it. You don't know what it is, you don't know how to fix it. It's gonna be really, really tough to, to hit even if you keep it really simple, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section if you got any questions. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.